What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? This year, we have seen the destructive power of weather modification across the world. And right now, I have my sights on Tropical Cyclone 19, soon to most likely become Hurricane Sarah. For this to happen, they will have to use many of their weather modification tools. Right now, the system is expected to bring feet of rain to Honduras and the Yucatan Peninsula, exactly where we see these beams of energy coming from Cuba and pointed westward toward Mexico. We also see radar anomalies coming from Mexico's particle accelerators. Now we know 193 nations are working together to bring about Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 and the Pact for the Future. We have also seen electromagnetic pulses come from Nexrad every single time flooding and disaster strike. And sustained beams of energy come from the Nexrad facilities seeming to supercharge storms and steer these systems. So let's talk about particle accelerators and their role in atmospheric science. Electrons can be created through a process called pair production, where high energy photons, light particles, collide and generate electron position pairs, an electron and its antiparticle, essentially creating matter from pure energy. This can occur in high energy environments like particle accelerators. Synchrotron light has been used to study the atmosphere in a number of ways. Synchrotron light is a type of electromagnetic radiation that can cover a wide range of the electromagnetic spectrum from infrared to x-rays and it's produced when charged particles are accelerated within magnetic fields. We would normally expect this process to occur naturally from solar radiation. Electrons primarily affect the atmosphere by creating charged particles called ions through a process called ionization in the upper layers of the ionosphere, significantly altering the electroconductivity of that region and influencing atmospheric chemistry and phenomena like aurora borealis and storm production localized disturbances and ozone destruction. Now we have seen these scientists harness the power of nature, recreating natural processes and essentially turning the forces of nature into a geophysical weapon. And it's my position, this can be used to cause earthquakes, atmospheric rivers, artificial aurora, hurricane, volcanic eruptions, and even mud floods. This is the plan. This is the not so great great reset okay my friends stay aware be prepared and until next time keep looking up